Hello, Timbersurf here with Drawn Print 3D number 3. In this video, we're going to have a look at scaling, particularly the difference between the scale that you're designing and the actual scale that you end up printing at. I managed to find a STL model of a hay baler, and it also came with a DFX type of style of file which is something I can edit in AutoCAD. The STL wheels are a bit simplistic, so I wanted to change them in AutoCAD to some fancy ones, but it didn't want to seem to want to output as a watertight file. So, not understanding the units, I decided to print it from the STL. So I had a go at printing it out. And as you can see, the result is pretty good. It's a detailed printable file. It even has a power takeoff shaft. Very delicate. Success, yes? No. It's way too small. Well, for our own. I can probably put it on eBay and sell it as an N-gauge. So, I had a go at upscaling it and at a factor of 1.5 it's got a bit of a problem. The scale isn't quite right and the far back end on the left is sort of bowed and not mm, something's gone wrong. Hay bales should be about two foot wide so that should be about eight millimeters and this is more like five. So we're still not right and I'm going to have to have another go and while I'm at it I need to fix the supports at the rear end. It's sagged down and the end has tilted up so you can actually see daylight through the flap at the end. So I changed the support structure and it came out exactly the same. Hmm, a second identical print. I'm still not doing something right. So I decided that this could be a, a beat up, a mechanically broken one that has been replaced by a new one uh, and it can be hidden off behind a barn and the scale won't be seen. So having upscaled it again and now 1.7 and fixed the support, yay, the back end is okay. Supports must be working now. And yeah, that's more like 8 mil wide. Ah, but why? Why is it? Whoa, there's a wheel sticking up in a weird angle. Ooh, I've only just noticed that. It's it's up, the wheels up in the sky. Hmm, so is this a function of using someone else's design? Or is this the function of that problem I had in AutoCAD? Actually, I think I might know what the issue is. It, because the surface is the thing that's modelled and not it's not a solid, it's just a load of triangles on the outer surface. And there was a problem with this box axle that it seemed to have an open end. Don't forget, this is printed upside down. So the bed plate is up here, and hanging down below that is the supports to the model. Oops, out of shot. So the bed plate's here, and the supports go down to the model here. And what's happened is the wheel wasn't supported and slipped. This is the issues that you get with using someone else's design. I, I, I don't know exactly what's happened and why it, the wheel, me wheel fell off. Yeah, that wheel is definitely in the sky. It's not right. And, ooh, hang on. My, <laughs> oh, oh, what's going on here? This, that, that corner's not right. Mm, something, something wrong with that as well. Or is it that the problem in the first place? Yeah, we seem to have a diagonal issue here. Hmm. Maybe that corner has lifted, as in fallen down when it's upside down. Because they're, they're very soft when they come out. It's very flexible. We'll put it down to experience and, you know, I'm, I'm learning. And you, you're going to make these mistakes as you go along. It's part of the process. And if that takes four iterations, then so be it. It's a good job these are only small, so it doesn't take 
a, a lot of resin. Um, what are what are these worth? Mm. Well, resin is about forty pounds per liter, and what are what are we going to say these are in terms of volume? Two centiliters. So two one hundredths of forty pounds. I I can't work that out. So that's uh, two tenths of uh, the hypotenuse of forty pounds multiplied by the uh, digital fraction of the eight pennies. So I'm not going to worry about it. If, if I end up writing off forty pounds as part of the learning process, then so be it. So most people would be happy with these detailed models if they were free. Uh, probably wouldn't if they had to pay for them. But hey, I'm enjoying myself. Mm -hmm.